Oh hey, you found me. If you're new here, my name is Lau, and today we're going to be talking about the Malibu Barbie Cafe at Mall of America. Now the first things we are going to be talking about are what is the Malibu Barbie Cafe, the staff, the food, theming, the price, and I'll be showing you the gift shop and talk about that a little bit. And of course, I'll have my final thoughts on it and whether or not it's worth it to go. All right, what is Malibu Barbie Cafe? It is a pop-up restaurant that has been traveling around the United States. Previously, it has been in New York, Chicago, and then it came here to Mall of America, and next it will be going to Miami. It opened at Mall of America on October 27th, and the last day it will be open will be January 14th, 2024. The Malibu Barbie Cafe is run by a company called Bucket Listers, and they have other experiences as well, like they have a Family Guy experience, they have a Golden Girls kitchen that's located in Florida, which makes sense because that's where the show was located. Now that we know what the Malibu Barbie Cafe is, let's talk about the staff. And I will say that um, it was me who went, my mom, and my husband. So there were three of us. As soon as we walked up to the hostess stand, they, the staff immediately said, hi Barbies, hi Kens, which was really cute. And then another person walked by and said the same exact thing. They were very welcoming and I really appreciate the staff. They were so nice. If you are uncomfortable being called a specific gender, then let them know and I'm sure they will be happy to work with you. If you've seen any of my previous videos before, you may know that both my husband and I have food allergies and we did bring up our food allergies to the servers and they were so good about it. They were very attentive and if they didn't quite understand what the allergy was because my husband has a an interesting allergy, if they didn't quite understand it, they made sure that they asked questions and they were so good about that and we really appreciated that and that that really made the the staff super awesome in our minds because that's so important to us. And of course, because there are so many photo ops at the Malibu Barbie Cafe, they were very happy to take photos for us. And they, they would even ask, oh, do, would you like me to take a photo of you? Because there's so many spots. Oh, it, was, it was awesome. That was my favorite part. Anyway, we will move on. Thank you to the staff. You guys were amazing. And keep up the great work for the next month. Have you been to the Malibu Barbie Cafe at Mall of America or at one of the other locations? Or are you excited for it to come to Miami? Let me know down in the comments. All right, let's talk about the food. Of course, you're going to a Malibu Barbie Cafe. So a food is a big part of what the experience is, right? That makes sense. And I'm going to say the food is what I expected. And I will put some video of the menus um, as I talk about the food. And I'll put some photos of our dishes. It tasted fine, but it wasn't anything to write home about. The menu was kind of basic with a bit of a flair. I'll read some of the items that you can get. Um, there's Make Waves Avocado Toast beach burger that is what my mom got like your dream grilled cheese that's what my husband got golden coast cauliflower bowl west coast wave salad beachside breakfast burrito pacific paradise pancakes that is what i got because i love pancakes so the sides I thought it was kind of strange because they didn't they didn't have like a fruit cup or something for the pancakes. I thought that would have been a good side just to have something a little sweet with the pancakes. But I got the salad. My husband and my mom got the fries for their side. I can't even remember what the other sides were, but I think it'll show on the menu. They also do have a children's menu and we'll go through that. They have 
tubular tenders. They have the Pacific Paradise Pancakes, Stay Groovy Grilled Cheese, Shine On Quesadilla, Boardwalk Bacon and Eggs Combo. They had this aioli sauce, which was really good. My husband really did not like it, but I thought it was amazing and I would have put everything <laughs> I would have put it on everything. My mom thought it was fine. Like she didn't like love it or hate it. So I, I can't say it's one of those things you'd love or hate, but I thought it was delicious. Drinks, desserts, and appetizers are all separate offerings. You have to pay extra for those. So just be aware of that. So this is really cute. Some of the desserts come in themed plates or serving dishes. They come in things like the Barbie boat and the Barbie convertible. We didn't get that, but I really wanted to because I I always wanted things like the Barbie boat and the Barbie convertible. I never got those. I did get a Barbie limo, so I guess that's better than a, a convertible because then my Barbies could party together. <laughs> As for what uh, my mom and my husband thought of their food, uh, my husband did like his grilled cheese and the fries were fine. Like, like I said, there's nothing too crazy here. And my mom is older and she didn't, like the burger was just a bit too big for her because it's two patties. So it was just a bit big for her. I think that'd be a great option for a dad bringing his kids to this and getting the burger. That'd probably be a good option for him. I did get an alcoholic beverage. It's called Malibu Vibes. I'll point it out on the menu so you can read like what was in there. I can't exactly remember what was in it, but it tasted good. I have no complaints there and it was pretty with the little flower and everything in it. But 17 bucks, oof. <laughs> that was a little bit much, but I had to try it just to kind of give you an idea of what a drink looked like there. My mom and my husband decided to stick with their free glasses of water. I know that in the menu there is bottled water for like $10 or something. I don't know what that is, but you don't have to worry about that. You, you do get free water. I know that some of the reviews for Malibu Barbie Cafe had mentioned about the, the bottled water, but don't worry about it. You get free water. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> we did order dessert and we kept it simple. We got the macarons and I'll show you pictures of that. And they were good. You know, I've never not liked macarons. <laughs> They're good little cookies. Um, and this is where I asked about my food allergy because I have, I'm allergic to peanuts. So I asked if there was like a peanut butter version and they said no. There was a pistachio one, so if you're allergic to things like that, you know, be warned that there is a pistachio uh, macaron in there. And of course, if you have allergies, please make sure to ask your server and they will respond positively to you and make sure that everything works out okay for you. All right, next, let's talk about my favorite part, the theming. I loved the theming. I felt like I was a Barbie in a Barbie world. It was so cool. All the pink, all the different colors. I personally love colors. I love rainbows. Oh, this was just the perfect, perfect place for me. I was being a total little shutter bug and I was getting as much video as I could. <laughs> my husband and my mom had to drag me out of there. <laughs> They even have a little hopscotch game on the floor that's super cute. They have a roller rink. It's not very big, mind you, but it is a pop-up restaurant. So, you know, they're, you're not going to take up a whole entire store space for a roller rink <laughs> for a pop-up. So I thought it was the right size for what it is. And I didn't, I didn't actually go film that because there were little kids roller skating there and I, I really try not to film little kids just for their privacy and safety so yeah but you can see it I'll I'll put a little arrow of where it was compared to the to the majority of the pop-up I will say the theming probably worked for me because I am one of the target audiences as a kid I played with Barbies constantly so it was nostalgia feels all over. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's go back to the roller rink. If you want to do roller skating, they encourage you to bring your own roller skates or I suppose roller blades would be fine too. Um, otherwise, you can rent roller skates for a dollar, which is pretty good in my opinion. I used to love roller skating when I, when I was a kid, um, but I did not roller skate this time just because we didn't have time and uh, it would have been fun, but... I haven't roller skated in years and that would have been funny and a disaster all at the same time. <laughs> so if you're into theming, this I, I think this would be a great way to celebrate a child's birthday or have a fun date night. That would be a lot of fun. You know, make sure to get a bunch of pic pictures with your group when you go because that, that is the the big part of this is getting photos in the fun photo spots. Has this information been helpful for you so far? If it has, think about subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to build a community of people that are interested in going to the Mall of America or are locals that are just interested in the events and like to go there for walking. That's actually how I started getting interested in the Mall of America was because in the winter, that's what my husband and I would do. We would go there to walk. And I thought, how cool would it be for me to share this with everybody on the internet? Okay, let's talk about what everybody has been waiting for, price. So when you sign up or register to be part of the Malibu Barbie Cafe, it's about $40 per adult plate. I know on the bucket lister site, it's like $30 and up. Well, that's for the kids plates is about 30 bucks. So expect to pay $40 for your base meal. So I'm going, I have some notes here. So let me read through my notes. For three people, the original cost, and this is with fees and everything, I'll put that up on the screen. It was $132.90. But of course, we got the add-ons, so we got the dessert and the alcoholic beverage, and that added $28.63. And then you add the tip on that, and of course, we always tip 20%, but of course, we didn't tip for that $28, we tipped for the entirety of that. So let's see, the grand total with meals, dessert, adult beverage, and tip came out to $190.53. And then I broke it down. There were three people there. So it was $63 per person. That's including the tip in there. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to do something different for that. But I figure that's fair because that's part of the cost, right? If we didn't order the extras and went with the base meals and a 20% tip, then it would be $53 per person. All right, now I'm going to compare to other tourist trap type locations. Um, I would say that it is comparable. Like if you go to Rainforest Cafe, also in Mall of America, it's about the same. And I feel like the theming here, of course, was better because that's, that's the point, right? I mean, Rainforest Cafe is, is cute, but if you want photo ops and stuff, I felt like this was better. And I felt like uh, I haven't eaten at the Rainforest Cafe in so long, but I, but I feel like the food was comparable and it's probably comparable prices. All right, and then I will compare this to Disney, so get ready. A restaurant, a themed restaurant like that would be more expensive or about on that same price range. Granted, I know you're in Disney World and stuff too, but we can't forget that Mall of America is actually a big tourist trap. 40 million people come to the Mall of America every year, and I believe like 58 million people go to Disney World, 51 million go to Times Square, so I'd say it's up there. It's the most visited tourist spot in the Midwest, and I think that's pretty good. So that's probably... That's probably why I'm comparing this Disney to this pop-up because I feel like it is kind of similar. 
I guess a restaurant I would compare it to at Disney would be Whispering Canyon or maybe the the newish restaurant, the barbecue, Woody's Barbecue over in Hollywood Studios because that's themed and you don't see characters or anything. I feel like that might be something comparable and it's a very comparable price. Is the food better at Whispering Canyon? Yeah, but you don't get all the fun photo spots so and I'm not making excuses (laughs) I'm not making excuses I'm just comparing and giving you proper expectations (laughs) and let's face it Disney World doesn't have the best uh, food always either they do have good food and they're really great about allergies just like this Barbie cafe was but yeah sometimes there's duds at Disney too (laughs) All right, and you can't have a fun pop-up themed restaurant without having a gift shop. I myself plan on going back and getting a mug from there because uh, I thought about getting it, but then I was like, ah, and I'm local, so I can go back anytime I want to go get it. Um, I did ask. The mug is $20. I didn't get prices on anything else. I think my mom had mentioned that the cookbook is also $20. That's that's kind of cute. I like if I get a cookbook, I don't really use it. So I'm kind of on the fence about that one, but I probably won't get it, but I'll definitely get the mug. The gift shop includes the usual things like mugs, t-shirts, tote bags. And like I said, they also have that cookbook and you might hear my dog. (laughs) She is playing and rolling around and having a wonderful time as I film this, but what are you going to do? She lives here, you know? Oh, and I would also like to say that you can enter the gift shop without having to pay uh, to get into the Malibu Barbie Cafe. That's free for everybody. If you want to look at the cute merchandise, feel free to go in there and make purchases. Um, You can get a mug just like me. And as I show you the gift shop, I will give you my final thoughts and who I think this would be good for. Is this for everyone? Absolutely not. You have to be a super Barbie fan like me. I I love Barbies. I played with Barbies constantly. There was never a Christmas where I didn't get a Barbie. If you aren't a Barbie fan but you have a Barbie fan in your life and you go, you know, they're gonna light up when they see all the pink and all the colors and it'll be fun to watch them experience it. And I think that's kind of how my mom and my husband felt. Like they thought it was cute that I was so excited about all the the photo op situations. If you only go for the food, you are going to be very, very disappointed. If you go, definitely make sure that you take advantage of the photo ops. And I would definitely say, do the roller skating for that little bit of time. You know, bring your own or rent it. I mean, a dollar to go roller skating with your kids. What a good memory. That's kind of what these experiences are for. Kind of said the food wasn't as good as it should have been, but it was, like I said, it was what I expected. If it's for like a Barbie fan's birthday or maybe a a date night or a bachelorette party, that'd be great to go and get those photos with your group and get those fun memories with the people that you care about. And like I, you know, I admit it's a lot of money. You have to look at your budget and you have to decide what is worth it to you. If the ticket is too much and you still want to experience it, definitely go check out the gift shop. You still get that Barbie vibe and they do have a photo op there that you can take a picture of yourself in like a little arc with a surfboard next to it. And for me, you know, I had a lot of fun, but it's a one and done, which makes sense because it's a pop-up restaurant. You're not going to go back multiple times. It is a one and done situation and they know that. Should you go? Like I said, that is up to you. If you love Barbie so much like I do, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot going, but just make sure that you have the proper expectations going in. The food isn't going to be great. The staff is wonderful. I know that there were some negative uh, reviews for the Malibu Barbie Cafe and I kind of wonder if that was more of those opening days when it first opened. So there was like some, you know, when you first start up something new, there's going to be teething pains. I kind of wonder if that's what that was because my experience was exceptional with the staff. They, They were so great. And that also makes the experience. So thank you guys. You 
Thank you, Barbies and Kens. <laughs> you guys were great. So if you liked seeing the Malibu Barbie Cafe, then stay lost with me and join me as I went and saw the Barbie pop-up closet at Mall of America. That was a really fun day and I got Barbie ice cream. Otherwise, let's get lost again soon.